Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horat Drak and we are playing Mount Blade Warp and Viking Conquest Reforged Edition as Balder Thorgrimson in the Kingdom of Baldersdale. This is the Kingdom of Baldersdale. These are all the places that belong to the Kingdom of uh, Baldersdale and the King of the Kingdom of Baldersdale is Balder Thorgrimson. Um, the hero of my last Mountain Blade um, Working Conquest series, the Saga of Baldur Thorgrimson. Watch that if you want to know how we how we came to this point, um, what transpired um, during the rise to power of Baldur. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to recap uh, recap it uh, for you shortly. So um, Baldur Thorgrimson was sent out with. Um, 16 companions, these guys over here, by his father. Um, his father said to him, son, men don't follow you just because you crawled out of the right womb. You have to make a name for yourself. And that was the idea um, behind um, his sending out Balder. He sent him to England, told him to uh, maybe look into the kingdom of Northumbria because he had heard that the the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have uh, taken great lands and uh, lots of plunder for themselves over there. And um, he had hoped that Balder would be able to make a name for himself. And indeed, Balder did. He exceeded these expectations by a large margin. And his might and power grew. He had uh, made a lot of friends among the uh, lords of Northumbria, also some enemies um, that you're going to meet in the series. And he gained these um, these towns. He gained Edinburgh, he gained Dunbreton, he gained Skuin, and he gained uh, Sir Rigmonade. Um, but when he took Din Bear, um, Jarl Hafton Ragnarsson, the king of the kingdom of Northumbria, denied him the castle that he himself had conquered. And so, Balder Thorgrimson struck out on his own and started his own kingdom. And we're going to follow his, um, his attempts to hold on to this, hold on to this new kingdom. If you want to meet our hero, this is Balder Thorgrimson. Um, on his horse, in his armor. Um, I think you can see him here as well. And I decided to start a new series um, because this is, uh, in a way, the second chapter in the story of Boyle Thorgrimson. Because now he has his own kingdom and he's not out there for glory and money and power anymore, but. Um, He's trying to um, keep his position as a king in uh, these lands. He married a noble wife, whom you're going to meet right now, who is also the first minister of the kingdom of Baldersdale. Um, her name is Sigrid, or Queen Sigrid, over here. Um, she's devoted to Balder, as it should be. How is the offspring? I thought we I thought we had done any uh, some offspring. Well, no matter. And this is Balder, a giant among men. Um, he's not that bright actually, though. He's very charismatic, but um, not too bright. So if you have a look at his character, he has a reputation for being ruthless, because he plundered um, innumerable monasteries. He slaughtered monks. His kingdom is, in a way, built on the blood of monks. And the Christian kingdoms and the Christian people of the British Isles hate him. His name is a curse to them. If you have a look at how he's constituted, he's, he's really strong and really charismatic, but pretty dim. So he might not always make the best decisions. But he is well liked by his own men, um, by the Norse, Norse kingdoms and Norse lords. And uh, he has made a name for himself by being, being really freakishly strong and big. He uh, is bigger than most men. And um, yeah, this is the capital of the kingdom. 
Uh, Baldo has some friends. Um, what can we see that? Relations. Yeah, we have Yal Iva uh, the Boneless as a friend. And Yal Rothboth, um, who's also a son of uh, Ragnar Lothbrok. Um, Baldo has a lot of right to rule, so really nobody is questioning his right to rule, but they're still gonna try to keep him down. Other lords that um, that are his friends are yeah, Bjorn Ragnarsson, another Lothbrokson, um, Bjorn Ironside actually. Um, he has a lot of enemies too. Um, most most of all the um, Kingdom of Altklut, but nearly all the Christian kingdoms really hate him. The Kingdom of Frisia likes him. Denmark likes him, North Vigor likes him, and Lathland, which is also a Norse kingdom, also do like him. But Northumbrians are resentful because he broke off from their kingdom. Um, other than those two guys, um, there's also his father-in-law, Hesir Rogenwald, who is also in the kingdom of Northumbria. And the Lord of Babenberg, Elderman Eldred, over here is also friendly towards us um, and we're gonna try and recruit these guys to our cause to be able to hold on to this to this land because um, Kingdom of Baldusdale has no um, has no lords at the moment if you want to have a look at our kingdom you can see that uh, the king has four towns and one fort with no villages um, <clears throat> but the kingdom has nine villages, so we should be able to dole them out to nine lords. And, uh, and we are running tax enforcement at the moment. Um, but yeah, the, the lack of lords is really a problem for us. <clears throat> During his rise to power, Balder killed 1,144 people and wounded 516 enemies. Wounded five allies. Um... Where are the amount of wounds that he got? He got five wounds in his lifetime, getting to this point. <clears throat> so I think that is enough of a backstory here. And we're just, uh, we'll set sail to the south over here. Um, trying to go to Babenberg and trying to recruit um, Alderman Eldred, who will bring his Babenberg um, to our kingdom. And Kellig Wellet is the castle of his father-in-law, Hesse Rogenwald. He might be might be able to, to uh, sway him and recruit him as, as a lord. And then Bjorn Ragnarsson is down here. Um, I think Wixham is his fief. He originally had Doncaster, but lost it. Um, Boyle Thorgrimson had Wixton, so um, I imagine that was part of their friendship that they helped each other helped each other out during that time. Uh, we did a lot of, or Balder did a lot of good deeds for Ivor the Boneless. He freed him from captivity as well as Elderman Eldred uh, a couple of times and he also captured enemy lords so that Ivor the Boneless could um, exchange them for some relatives of his. So he has a couple of really good friends who we might be able to to get to our side. We'll see about that. Um, now let's get into Edinburgh and let's set sail. Um, all these all these um, towns have strong garrison of North Mother Vikings, um, but Edinburgh is the strongest of these towns. We have 500 North Mother Vikings in here. These are really strong fighters, but we're trying to train up some of the some of the smaller guys but now that i come to think of it it might actually be a good idea to take a couple more people we can take 490 guys on the boats um well three holders might not be the way to go when we take these and when we take these, that might be good. Yeah, let's take all the Danish elite Vikings and the ship captains as well, because why not? Why not? 
They are all costs, costing 65, but the ship captains are a bit better equipped than the rest. Um, so let's sail from port. We we'll definitely have to do something against our mortal enemies, the Kingdom of Old Clut. These guys have been the bane of Baldur's existence. And I think Baldur has plundered every monastery there is in the British Isles. Well, except except the ones that are in the... Um, oh, there's Alderman Eldred. Great. That's perfect, actually. Let's disembark. Uh, let's talk with him. No, you don't have to run, mate. I'm not going to do anything to you. I can't get involved. That is annoying. That is really annoying. I, I would like to attack Madoc Mapkadel and help Alderman Eldred. First, I want to recruit him. Come on! 5.4, 5.5. We should be able to get to him. Come on. Yeah, good to see you again. So he's loyal. Um, wish to discuss something with you in private. What do you think in general terms about kings, laws and politics? My philosophy is simple. It's better to be the wolf than the lamb. Did you wish to speak of anything else? How do you feel about your Hafton Ragnarsson? It's well known that I'm disappointed that your Hafton Ragnarsson received the fief of Linklaneham, which should have gone to me. Sometimes I do worry about the state of the realm. Well, I have something to tell you. I ask for your support for the throne of the Northlands. Why should I support you? Well, I will re reward you with lands. Indeed, please continue. I ask you to pledge your allegiance with to me. Let me think. Militarily, you would have me join you, only to find myself isolated amid a sea of enemies. That's a real problem. Not good. I'm more comfortable with you and your current companions than with my current liege. You speak of giving me land. Yes, very good. But you had best deliver. Finally, one should always think carefully about retracting one's allegiance, even if there's a good reason. As it is not good to get a name as one who changes lieges easily. In this case, however, many men would understand. I think it's time for him to make a decision. I hope that he comes over to my side. Very well. I will not, not let you... Lead me into treason. Do not talk to me of this again. Crap. We can talk to him later about it again, but it will take some time. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave him in peace. He's, he, he might be running, but... This guy is going to get it. Come on. That is one of the biggest, um, biggest assholes in all of the British kingdoms. And he really needs to get it. Come on. We meet again. Yeah, he's suspicious. Um, surrender or die? We have a lot of troops. Uh, let's charge the enemy. These are my bodyguard. All my bodyguards. On the, on the horses. I'm just gonna let them charge. I'm gonna gain a lot of renown if we win this. We shouldn't gain so much. I'll just let my guys charge. Um, and you can see that I have grouped most of them into the Haskell group. I'm gonna put them into shield wall and advance them to over here. There's my dog, Fenrir. He's doing good things. Uh, I'm gonna put our skirmishers over here and then we got some spearmen. We're also going to put into a shield wall and we're going to put over here. So that's good. Now go on, chop chop. Or you won't have any enemy enemies left. Although the bodyguard is losing men, that's for certain. Come on, move it. Ow. You really want to do this, eh? Oh. It's a bit annoying that they have so many horsemen. It should not be too fun for them to run into my formation. Let's 
put the spearmen over here. Yeah, they're gonna get cut down. These spearmen start to annoy me. Oh, did not get him. Alright then. Now I got him. Nice. Oh yeah, I should have actually have said something about the difficulty that we're playing at. We're playing at the highest difficulty possible. Uh, we've got only a difficulty rating of 100 here, but uh, I've put all that up and the uh, Viking Conquest DLC allows you to, put at a, uh, to play at a very high difficulty. And I've enabled that. Because that makes the game more fun, obviously. Try to take some of these skirmishes out. And that is their leader. So. Let's advance our Huskars. Let's move them up. Our spearmen we're gonna bring along on the side. Feeling that the spear is a bit difficult to handle. Come on. Oi! How rude. Alright, I have to get back to my men. What's happening over here? Come on. Advance 10 paces. Give it to them. That is their, their leader. Come on. Take this, Madoc Map Cadell. Yeah! That's what you get. Come on. That was a dumb idea, trying to take me on. Okay, the enemy has gained reinforcements. Shouldn't be too many now. Uh, some. I'm actually gonna let my Haskells advance here. And the spearman will just send in to charge. In fact, I think everybody should just charge. Come on. Is there any horse left standing? Oh, we got reinforcements as well. Interesting. No, I don't have any javelins left. I could, could throw them in the back. There's a horse over there. Come on. Let me through. I'm your king. Move out of the way. Well, that horse won't wait for anyone. Not even for a king. It's frightened. Well, okay. So I did it. Nice. Let's try to kill off some of these stragglers. None of these alt clued cowards will be left alive. Goodbye. Yeah, we're smeared with blood, but we've won the fight. That's what's important. I might equip my horn, actually. It's nice to be able to blow the horn at the victory. So we lost nine Danish elite Vikings and six captains. That's horrible. That's really horrible.
Haha! <laughs> but I got him, so he's my prisoner now. I'm gonna throw him into my dungeon and let him rot down there. Maybe let the torture loose on him. I'm not sure. But as you can gather, I really dislike Madoc Map Cadell. Let's share the loot. Ooh, yeah, that's some juicy loot. I'm gonna take the rest because um, we need a bit of money. We're getting a lot of money from our cities and all that, but more money is never bad. And uh, because I have so so uh, bad a reputation, I'm actually able to recruit Northmen. Vikings, uh, when I, wherever I see them, Viking parties. I'm gonna move back. That was bad that we couldn't um, get Eldam and Eldred. That's bad. We're among a sea of enemies, he says. I would have to make peace with some of the um, factions that we are at war with. If you want to have a look at this, um, this is the King of Baldr Dollar, and these are our foreign relations. So we're at war with the Kingdom of East Anglia, Northumbria, Ortclute, and the Kingdom of Alban. Um, where's the Kingdom of Friesland? No. Nowhere. Okay. So that's fine. We're gonna return. Can we can we upgrade anyone? Oh yeah, we can upgrade lots of guys. So, I'm gonna upgrade you. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade you. Oh, that's it. Oh, how disappointing. I'm gonna throw Madoc Map Cadell into the prisoner tower, into the dungeon where he can rot. Let's throw all these guys in there. And then one of the nice things in this game is that you get battle trophies from every battle. And the battle trophies um, actually improve my relations, or the war trophies improve my relations with this town. Um, I'm not going to sell this stuff. Um, Populace is already devoted to me, and that influences how many people I can recruit and all that. Um, So we're gonna leave these high level guys in there. I don't think it's worth it to carry the captains with me. I'm just gonna lose them. I'm gonna keep them for a time when I really need them. I think that's that's a good idea. Alrighty. So um, in the next episode, I'm going to go to these places over here, trying to recruit some some guys. Going over here, recruit some over here. Then we'll try to sell our loot to this Northman Longport, and then we'll go south and try to recruit some more enemy lords. But I'm gonna end it here for now. I'll try to keep these episodes at uh, about 20 minutes. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a like. It really helps, especially on the first episode uh, of a series, because it um, increases the search ranks and all that good stuff. So if you enjoyed it, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing. I hope you join me next time for more Viking shenanigans in the kingdom of Baldur's Dale. Thanks and bye bye.